Hi, this is Ling Qi, brush painting for beginners. Today, we're going to um, do another subject on paint your own cards. And um, this is holiday season. A lot of you might want to do some cards as a gift to your friends or do a card to send you to your friends. And today's subject we're going to do is uh, pumpkin. Uh, we are between Halloween and uh, Thanksgiving. This is the season. And this particular subject is a uh, composition inspired by a uh, Hong Kong artist, Sam Chen. And then I'm giving his credit for his presentation. And then I'm going to try to do it, his composition. And <clears throat> the we have... Um, in OAS, we have paint your own, own car stock has a deco edge and you can actually paint directly on the car, which I will show you a little bit how to do that. And then, but today we're using um, fine line paper, which is sized paper uh, used for fine line. Uh, we call it shimmering shuan and uh, <clears throat> It's very easy to control the moisture if you're struggling with moisture control. And this paper also, the way you paint it, if you have watercolor background, this is very similar to paint like watercolor, which is uh, a little bit different than wash and we'll touch on the other sessions. And um, uh, we had a session on how to do, how to paint when you're traveling. And uh, if you want to see what equipment to do to to carry when you are visiting your family away from your home, we have a nice session to uh, talk about that. But I will be using very simple br uh, brushes and uh, uh, equipment. So if you are um, traveling, you need a container for water and a mixing plate. And then you can even use the lid for the mixing plate. You don't need much. And uh, this is our eight color companion set. You can, if you have the 12 color, uh, has more choices in color. But in today's subject, eight color is enough. <clears throat> so we're going to use yellow, vermilion, red, uh, green, indigo, black. So almost we're um, burnt sienna. So we are using almost seven palette, seven color in this palette, and um, except the purple. And um, the brushes, I'm having my uh, favorite large full lotus brush. If you have large, uh, sup uh, um, large flow, super flow, they are also good. And then, um, and then a line brush, which this one is a pretty happy dog. As far as paint your own cards, there are so many subjects. I think a lot of you has already collect our gift lessons, probably tuck it away somewhere, take it out and find something that you can practice on a smaller scale. And it's easy, like I have used this uh, calligraphy booklet this tree as my subject i also did a peony um uh, which is also a gift lesson as the subject and then we are doing the um, pumpkin this is my pumpkin today this is the tree i did with a gift lesson, calligraphy lesson. And then there is um, peony. And I have mounted different ways. This tree I mounted, use a glue stick, directly mounted on cardstock. And I'll show you how to do that. And then I also use traditional wet mount, which we have a lot of reference in our uh, collection that you can check it out. 
Uh, a lot of people are intimidated by mounting. This is a good time to practice because it's small, it's easy to do, and uh, so um, it's a good start. So this one is done on traditional wet mount on, the, on our Western mounting paper, and this one is done on car stock, which it works on both ways. So now I'm going to start with the pumpkin subject we're going to do today. <clears throat> the first one, I'm going to do the main big pumpkin, which I load my brush. The first color is yellow. And then second color is vermilion. And the third color is red. And then I blend. You can blend on your mixing plate if you have it, or you can use just the lid. And I will reload the red again so I don't lose it. So the first pumpkin is a bigger one on the about one third from the bottom up. So I'm loading the, continue to load the red because as I do it and then seems the red is going to lose it. And then I go from here, the middle, go sideways. So because this paper has sizing, so you can really fixing it as you go. And then I wash the tip off and trying to do the, my second pumpkin right below here. This time, I'm only use yellow, a little green for the first color, and then I use vermilion. So it's a lighter pumpkin on the bottom. But the shape is almost the same. So instead of washing my brushes out, then I'm using um, a line brush, tap a little bit green for the center. Okay, and then I'm going to do the the side leaves so I don't get my brush too dark. Um, the sequence is this way so I don't get the dark color into the light area I want to do. And then I'm going to wash my brush out and I'm going to do the big leaves. So I started with green and indigo and then black on the palette. So because I'm traveling, I'm not using the ink, but you definitely can ha use the ink if you have the ink available. So I'm just using the black on the palette. So I don't need to carry the ink around. Nowadays, traveling, um, <clears throat> carrying the ink is a hassle.
So I'm using the, my small brush to do some lines. Connecting this with the small leaves here. And then the small line brush, touch the green with a little yellow. And then touch the yellow tip with vermilion and do a little flower bud here. So I finished my pumpkin. I'm going to show you how to mount easy way on a car on our paint your own car stock and um, I have painted one that before is all dried so you put it on your table and you use a glue stick this is an Elmer school school stick and then you Gently cover the back of your painting. And I usually do it vertically once and then horizontally. So make sure that I got glue all over. Because sometimes if you just do vertically, then it doesn't always cover. And then you, because the, the cardstock is so similar to rice paper, so once it's dry, it almost invisible as far as they two are together. So you just use your hand or you, if you have a roller, you can roll it up. And I think my hand does a pretty good job. And then put on a, put um, a hard bind or heavier book on the top, let it dry. And then in this composition, I can put my little name seal on the corner, which I don't have it here, but this is the one that I'm going to show you. This is my name seal, and I'll finish a composition for you. 